ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد all praise due to Allah and His praise and blessings and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, his family, his companions and his followers until the Day of Judgment. I bear witness that Allah is the only one worthy of worship and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his last and final messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created us and He created us in a such amazing way and also in a complex way. And one of the most important parts of our body known as the heart and I don't necessarily refer to the heart to the muscle the bump the blood into your body every minute or every second of your life but I mean the heart where is the faith and Iman is the one is connected to your soul where your Iman and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establish the one that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam referred to as Ala wa inna fil jasadi mudghah idha saluhat saluh al jasadu kullu In you, there is a part, if it is good, your whole entire body will be good. And if it's corrupt, your body will be corrupted, which is the heart. And that means yani, the actions of your body will be corrupted. If your heart is corrupt, your tongue will be corrupt, your hand, your legs, your mind, you basically you do that. We need to maintain six feet between both of you guys. Yeah. Um, so, just for those who are online, we only have a few people among the administrations uh, praying the Jumu'ah with us, and the rest we all recommend for people to um, uh, pray at home until the rate of this pandemic um, goes down. But even uh, the administrators and the team of the masjid should still maintain that distance just for their own benefit. Um, going back to what we're saying in regard to the heart where the Nabi Sallallahu referred to as the reason behind the corruptions and the righteousness of the body. Abu Hurair radiallahu anh said the heart is like the king. If it's corrupt, its soldier will be corrupted. And if it is good, its soldiers and mandates and orders will be good. This is the heart where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the, right, the people will survive in the day of judgment based on how righteous this heart is. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سليم. Only those who come in the day of judgment with a sound heart, they will be survived. They will be the one who survived. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Hellfire is waiting for those who their heart is qasiya, their heart is corrupt. Also, in Nabi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in many verses in the Qur'an, he said, مَنْ خَشْيَ الرَّحْمَانَ بِالْغَيْبِ uh, 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 Those uh, بِقَلْبٍ munib. Allah described the hearts of the believers as a heart filled with righteousness and iman and faith. And in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the sound hadith, إِنَّ الْقَلْبِ يَتَقَلَّبِ The heart is basically, don't stay in the same level. It keep moving and flipping. That's why we call it qalb from qalaba, which means we flip something or you turn it. So it keep turnings and it doesn't stay in the same state or the same level all the time. And because of that fact, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a very beautiful example in another hadith, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, fi Muslim Muhammad, he said, يعني, uh, uh, إن القلب أشد تقلبا من القدر. You know, when you boil the water, how the water keep turning? That's how the heart is. So that really makes us think about our heart more often, and our, our basically, uh, this part of us, and our spirit, and our ruh, and our soul, more than what I think we are doing right now. Because that means it is a serious uh, change can happen to you without you realizing. And because of that, I, I choose to speak today about our iman, our faith. Is my iman weak or strong? Is it going up or going down? 
Since it is connected to the heart and your heart is not on the same level, it will be the same thing. Your iman also will be turning and going up and going down. And if you ever think that your iman can stay in one level, you're wrong. Take it as a rule of thumb. Your iman is going up or going down. So if it's not going up, it means it's going down. It doesn't stay in the same level. Al-Iman imma yazid wa imma yanqus. That's why the mu'min always try to push their iman up. So the, if you want to maintain maintenance to keep in the same level, it means you keep pushing up, up until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعْبُدُ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until you meet your Lord. These are some of the signs. I want you to listen to them carefully and see how many of them are applicable to you. And not only applicable, but how much of each sign you are involved. Because each one of these are also various levels. So the more severe these signs exist in your life, the more your iman endangers. And that means you're, you know, in the red zone, as we have the red level these days with the contagious of the disease. Also the same thing, that means that you are in the red and that may require from you to take a serious action to prevent, you know, for your heart from dying. Number one of these signs, and I, and I also think this is very relevant to us today, because staying at home, not socializing with people coming to the masjid, Staying away from the, the company that used to push you and, and, and uh, help you to grow can contribute to the fact that our iman is getting weaker. Number one, when you find that you are missing the obligations and you're missing one after another, especially the salah. Especially the five daily prayers. Not that you miss, mashallah, I don't miss Salat al-Dhuhr. Or I don't miss Salat al-Maghrib or al-Isha. But you've been missing Fajr, you've been missing Dhuhr, you've been missing Maghrib, you're praying Maghrib always late, and so forth. So, missing the Salah or missing the obligations in general. Something that you check. The more often you're missing the Salah, the more your Iman is in danger. And the more your Iman is getting weaker. Birr al just give you random examples. Also, among the obligations of being good to your parents, if it's been a while since you called them, since you did good to them, since you made dua for them, since you give sadaqah on their behalf, maybe there is even family members, they are staying with each other, and there is a day will go by, and you will not do an act of kindness to their parents. The more you do, the imams go up, the less and the... You know, you don't even care about it and you cross the lines and you do the wrong things in relation to parents. That shows the weakness of Iman. Al-Zakat, Al-Hajj, when there is no intention even for Hajj or no care about Hajj or As-Salat uh, in general in congregation. You know, there is family members, they know that they can pray in Jama'ah, but they just want to sneak around and go pray in their home or their room because they don't want to pray in congregations. You know, that shows weakness of Iman. Why? Because I want to make it fast, I make it quick, you know. My father read too slow. Or that means the Salah is so heavy on you. That's, 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 a, re that's a sign that I should be, care be careful when I see it in my heart, in my mind. That means I need to work in my faith. I want to, to basically fight that back. When you see yourself, you know, being loose when it comes to the hijab, it doesn't matter of my hand showing, of my neck showing, you know, if my hair showing and, and so far. That's an obligation upon you, but you kind of, you know, keep discounting it. And, and that shows weakness in the iman. Another sign, al ghafla an dhikrillah. When a person became heedless, when a person don't mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often, don't remember Allah or don't remember the rules of Allah. So you know what, the adhan comes, the, the, this is a time for you to do this dhikr, it didn't even cross your mind that there is something called dhikr before you go to sleep. Why? Because you're not thinking about it, you're watching, you watch TV until you fall asleep. Or, you know what, you wake up in the morning and the first thing you think about, your breakfast, your this, your that, but not your, or your work, but not dhikr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hours will pass by and you don't even mention Him because you're occupied playing with your games or, play, or watching or just, you know, uh, uh, um, 
doing your chores. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very little to be mentioned in your house. Very, very little to be mentioned in your tongue. That's a sign of weakness of the iman. When you don't know any one of the adhkar of the morning and the night, what to say before you sleep, you go to before you wake up from, or when you wake up, or you wake up in the middle of, of this, uh, the night, or what to say before you eat or after you eat, not remembering at all that there is some bismillah, alhamdulillah, Allahumma atamana, making dua for those who made the dua f- food for you. The more these things are absent from your mind, it shows you know, a weakness of iman. The stronger iman you have, you will find yourself mentioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very often. Also, another sign, which is third one, when you openly do your sins and you don't care. Not only that, but yeah, not only you doing it in public, but also you talk about it in public. I'm proudly putting in your social media. I'm putting up for the world. Which is no shame from the sins. I'm not feeling shame of it. I'm not, and by the way, feeling shame from your sins and hiding them is not hypocrisy. It's iman. A shaitan play with you twice. He make you do the sin, then he double it by making you publicize it. It's not hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is, you know, when you do the sin in hidden because you're afraid of people. You hide your sin because you're afraid of Allah. That you don't want to be openly challenging him. I did this in the time of my weakness. So it's not a hypocrisy as some people might think. Also, even I'll take it farther deeper. Not only you publicizing them, doing the sin in itself and you're so careless about them. You don't feel even wrong about it. You don't feel there's anything wrong with what you're doing. That's, that's terrible. Especially the sin of leaving the obligations. Also number four, that when you became so lazy when it comes to good deeds, when it comes to righteous deeds, when it comes to act of worship, that you're so lazy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the, the, the hypocrites. وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ قَامُوا كُسَالَ لَا يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا when they walk out, when they stand up for salat, they were so dragging their feet and so lazy, so hard. And only mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very little. And uh, 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 this is a very clear sign also of the weakness of Iman. When became it is so hard for you to the recommended act. It is so hard for you to abstain from what is disliked from makruhat. It is hard to learn the knowledge. It is hard to give the extra charity. It is hard, you know, to pray the Sunnah al Dhuhr and Sunnah al Asr and Sunnah al Maghrib and Sunnah al Isha and Sunnah al Fajr. It is hard to do your witr. It is hard to read Quran. But it's so easy for you to waste your day watching TV. It's so easy for you to watch, to play games. I'm not saying this haram, necessarily every one of them, but it is so easy to do the mubah that let's assume it is permissible or at least dislike makro so easy to do it but when it comes to you know to do what is recommended it became extremely hard to pray in the beginning of the time not to delay the salat also among the sign of weakness of iman which is interesting when you don't care about others iman and faith around you when you don't care about people around you are righteous or not, or educating them, or showing them the, the way, you know, that's the lack of interest in da'wah. It shows that there is a weakness in your own iman. And that lack of interest directly or indirectly. I might not be able to speak, but I support those who speak. I support these organizations who do the work, or I support those individuals who do the work. The more you care about it, it, it basically shows the, the, the strong iman, and the less, the less. Iman you have. Also one of the sign when you try to hide your anything has to do with you know the sunnah or Islamic appearance on you. You don't want to look. That's why I will do my Shaykh, what is the minimum, 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 minimum request or requirement for beard? And I don't want to have a beard that shows that I'm Muslim. I just want to the minimum one. What is Sheikh? What is the minimum, minimum, minimum you know, require for? Is not called qaza, you know, uh, hating the, the just 
Why? Because he doesn't. He doesn't want to. He want to fit in. Doesn't want. If you notice that Islam actually, it is brilliant idea. Give Muslims a distinguished look. That's that's in itself psychologically make you abstain from certain things. Muslims don't do it. You know, with my hijab, I'm not gonna be going doing that. A very, at least people of decency and still have fitrah, they will not do that while they're wearing the proper hijab or wearing the beard. And I know this is Sunnah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My face reminding me every time I touch my face that Sunnah Rasulullah. That's the, it. Keep me. Away. I'm not saying that's the only thing, but it helps when I, you know, I don't dress, you know, a certain type of clothes. I don't dress, you know. I, uh, 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 which is uh, a clothes which is doesn't do anything with modesty on the beach and show my aura, a man or woman, like y- you know, I don't do that. I, I, I abstain. I don't sit in a place where khamr is served. You know, I avoid these things. Anything that shows you you're Muslim, even even names, people try to hide it. Abu Bakr became Muhammad became Mu, and Abu Bakr Bu. And you know, and, and you name it, or Bob, you know, and, and you keep going. Anything, my Facebook should not show that I'm a religious person. My Instagram does not necessarily, why? So I can connect with people who are not religious. That's dangerous. That shows the, the weakness of uh, 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 Iman uh, as well. Also, one of the things that we and you're excessively excessively wasting your or spending your time in things which are permissible it has to do with the body with the look with the with the sports with games with watching with uh, uh, social media this is the majority of your day going there that's sign a weakness of iman because one of the sign of strong iman that you care for your time to use it for what will benefit you in the akhirah number also another point when you feel yourself get excited about good deeds but quickly you stop. I'm going to make sure that I read Quran one page every day. But you know what? You do this for a couple of days and pff, out. When you see that quickly you quit the good deeds, that's a show a weakness of Iman. When you do the good deeds, another sign of the weakness of Iman, when you do the good deeds and you always your eyes on the when it's going to end, when it's going to finish. Oh my God, when is this khutbah going to finish? When is the salah going to finish? When the salah, when is the surah will finish? When is the page will finish? Doesn't enjoy the journey. No, he always looking for what is the end or when is the end will come. Another thing that when a person does not have any type of anger or, 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 you know, or any feelings, uh, uh, strong feelings when he hears that there is sins and injustice were done. You know, there is a man who was killed in the streets by, unfortunately, people who are supposed to protect people's life. Oh, that's okay. Nothing, means nothing to his life. Not even a feeling. The, there is a genocide happening to the Muslims and uh, uh, in, in, for example, uh, uh, in, in China, nothing. There's a genocide. There's injustice happened to the Muslim in Kashmir. Uh, that's like it's like hearing, you know. There is a, a, a you know an extra free drink if you order something from that place. Who cares? Nothing. That shows the weakness of Iman. Mu'min cares for his brothers. And sisters, not only believers, any injustice in the world, anything wrong, anything not fair happen, it means something to me. At least that feeling is a sign of uh, the no feeling sign for a very weak iman. Also, when a person say what he or she don't practice, that's a sign of weakness of iman. When a person not a have a, don't have a good connection with Allah in the du'a and dhikr. Dua and dhikr is not the first thing to come to your mind. It's not something that constantly you do, not something you enjoy. Doesn't give you that connection with Allah. It's a sign of weakness of iman. Also, when a person try to avoid their, to make the, uh, the, do their best, to avoid the company of righteous people, that's a sign of weakness of iman. When I like to hang with people who are not righteous, who don't mention Allah, who are not people who care for their faith, but when I hang with the people who have faith, Oh my God, they are bored. Oh, they're not funny. 
You know, boring people, boring people. They're religious and non-religious. But you know what is boring? It's boring because those people, in reality, don't help you to fulfill your desires. Those people, you cannot do the, you know, the washy-washy stuff around them and the wrong things around them. That's why they're boring. Those people boring because they don't do the haram that you want to do. That's when a sign of weakness of iman here comes. When a person, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran many times said, وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ فِي الْقُرْآنِ وَلَّوْ عَلَىٰ أَدْبَعْرِي When Allah is mentioned in the Quran, they go away, they don't want to listen. إِشْمَأَزَّتْ قُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ لَا يُمْنُوا بِالْأَخِرِ Their hearts will turn away just because Allah is always mentioned. Oh my God, that's just, it, it just, you feel so heavy. And please don't tell me, oh, Sheikh, they talk about deen all the time. I never, I've been around here for, you know, for all these years now in my life. I never met religious people. Everything they talk about is, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allah. Yeah, that's not true. By the way, religious people, when they gather, they don't take different corners and start to cry for the sake of Allah. We are weeping and uh, we don't do that when we gather. That's the shaitan make it sounds like that. But it is, it is a weakness of Iman when you don't like to hang out around righteous people. And you always like to hang around with or be with people who are not righteous. Also, when you start leaving your good friends and your good friends leaving you, that's a sign that you should watch. في الأدب المفرد في البخاري رحمه الله reported that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said ما تواد اثنان في الله عز وجل فيفرق بينهما إلا بذنب يحدثه أحدهما that there is two people, good friends, best friends, then they depart from one another, they leave one another, except as for a sin that they have committed. That's a sign of weakness of Iman, because sin is a sign of weakness of Iman. When people like to argue all the time, that's a sign of weakness of Iman. Al-jadal min asbam min alamat qaswat al-qalb. Ma dalla qawmin ba'da huda. No one will be misguided after guidance unless Allah let them argue. They argue about everything in religion, argue about everything in deen and in life and so forth. And finally, when you find in your heart you're not content, you're not happy with Allah, Allah's decree, you always object to it. We're always unhappy with what Allah has been given for you or what happened around you. You're always frustrated. You all, And one of the clear manifestations of this, when you envy others, that's a sign of the of weakness of Iman. These are some few signs here and there, signs here and there, that you should watch carefully. And, and, and when you find them, that should be an alarm for you. And if there's a lot of them, that's a big alarm. And if each one of them is so deep, and, and it has, you know, it, 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 you, you basically practicing in, 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 in a higher level, that's even more danger, or more dangerous. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us and to keep our iman strong. Alhamdulillah, as you can imagine, this topic has follow up, inshallah, talk about you know uh, solutions and, and, and causes and, and, and just not talk about the manifestation of it. But hopefully, identifying these manifestations will help us to identify that and to do the opposite and to protect ourselves from it. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his names and attributes to forgive our sins and to protect us and our family and our wealth and our city and our country and the world from the evilness of this disease and all kind of evilness. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who will benefit from these signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring up to his creation so they can repent, they can go, they change the course of their life to be better. اللهم إنا نسألك أن تغفرنا وترحمنا وأن تعافينا وتعف عنا وأن تغفر لوالدينا اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا عافنا وعف عنا أكرم نزلنا يا ذا الجلال والإكرام أحسن خاتمتنا وجعل عاقبتنا في الأمور كلها إلى خير اللهم يا رب قوي إيماننا اللهم قوي إيماننا اللهم قوي إيماننا اللهم إنا نسألك قلبا قلبا حيا مفعما بالإيمان يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم إنا نسأل 
نسالك يا ذا الجلال والاكرام من الخير كله عاجله واجله ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله واجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم وصلى اللهم وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم